One of the more surprising, in fact, even shocking Old Testament to New Testament connections that's made is in Paul's letter to the Galatians, chapter 3, where he says that Christ became a curse for us. Paul, in making this argument, quotes from Deuteronomy 21. That's one of the chapters we read this morning, if you've been reading through the Bible with me. And Deuteronomy 21 has some rather odd legislation, but basically it's this, that if a man is executed and his corpse is suspended from a tree, then that corpse cannot be left there overnight. It has to be taken down and buried that same day. And then Deuteronomy adds a hanged man, that is one who is suspended, is cursed by God. Now, Paul, when he says that Christ became a curse for us, says, as it is written, and then he quotes Deuteronomy 21, cursed is everyone who is hanged on a tree. Now, Paul is not only quoting Deuteronomy 21, he's also referring, of course, to the tree of the cross upon which Jesus was crucified. So what happened on that cross? Christ became the curse for you. Christ, who was sinless, became your sin. Christ, who is life itself, became your death. He took all the bad that you have and I have, and he gave us all the good that he is and that he has in this blessed exchange. So, if we are in Christ, we are the blessed of God. Not cursed whatsoever, because Christ became that curse for us.